morning, YouTube. Welcome back to another episode on my channel. Let's talk about macaroons, shall we? They're crispy on the outside and soft in the middle. They're sweet and they happen to be gluten-free. What's not to love about them? I hate macaroons. Up until recently, I have never tried macaroons. I always see them when I'm walking the path in Toronto. They're always so brightly colored and pretty. Who doesn't like putting pretty things in their mouth? One day I actually decided to buy some to try it and oh my god, they are so expensive. $15 for this? But never mind that, I thought they're so cute, why wouldn't they taste good? So I decided to taste them. And I was wrong. That tastes like shit. They just taste like sugar. They don't even taste like anything else. Ew. Even if they're pistachio flavored or banana flavored, they just taste like sugar. It was all a lie. I feel so betrayed by these overblown, conceited, pretentious, pompous, overpriced balls of sugar masking as cookies. No more French garbage. No more. Oh my god, you got me a macaroon for my birthday? Ugh, you're such a rich friend. Wake up, people. This is capitalism trying to pick at your working class pockets for these pretentious desserts that don't even taste good. Let me teach you how to make a proper macaroon that actually tastes good. Traditionally, macaroons are made with almond flour, but today I'm gonna be making mine with unsweetened, finely shredded coconut. This has to be unsweetened, or your macaroons are gonna taste like the pretentious sugar balls we're trying to avoid. We're gonna take our coconut shreds and toast them on a pan. Now, you could skip this step if you want a chewier macaroon, but I'm aiming for something crispier. When it's done, it's gonna look something like this. Toasting it gives it a really nice nutty flavor. These wouldn't be macaroons without egg whites. Crack your egg properly. Here's how not to separate your egg whites. If you accidentally get yolk in the egg white, this macaroon won't come together nicely. So do what I say and not what I do. Crack it like this and use the shell to shell method. Yay, now we have our egg whites. Don't throw away those egg yolks. Make a smoothie or something. Let's whip up these egg whites. We wanna whip them until they're around soft peaks. Oh, can I use the electric mix? What? No. Why would you pull that out? Are you trying to do extra dishes? Oh, my arm hurts. You're so lazy. Go to the gym, Maria. <laughs> you have to mix it properly. Thank you. Stop whisking once it gets to something like this. In traditional macaroons, they use white sugar, which is precisely why these taste like garbage. So we're going to use coconut sugar. I like using coconut sugar because it's not as sweet and it has a subtle coconutty flavor. 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 Add in some salt and vanilla extract. Mix that in until it's fully combined. Check to see if the sugar is fully combined and taste it while you're at it. And add in your toasted shredded coconut. As you're mixing this, you'll notice the consistency is something like wet sand. Look, I'm making a castle. Enough playing around. Let's bake this. You'll need a tablespoon measuring thing and a normal spoon. You always cheat on me with Mrs. Forks. Well, baby, that's because you're made of plastic. Sorry. With our normal spoon, but what is normal? We're gonna stuff as much of our mixture as we possibly can into our tablespoon. Press it in and flatten it like this. Once we've done that, we're gonna attempt to knock our macaroon out of its shell. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a more efficient way to do this, like maybe using a cookie scoop or something, but I'm the queen of being inefficient, as quoted by my boyfriend, so get at me, bro. And now we do the rest. Bake these for 15 minutes at 350 degrees until they look something like this. You could stop here, but we're gonna add some chocolate. Bring some water to a boil and turn it down to low. Put a heat proof bowl on top and add in your chocolate. I'm using dark chocolate. Only use dark chocolate, don't use whatever you want. Add in a little bit of coconut oil to loosen the chocolate and then allow it to melt slowly and then take it off the heat. 
to create a makeshift poor student piping bag, stuff a plastic bag into a tall cup like this. Then add in your now cooled melted chocolate. Try to move as much of the chocolate as you possibly can into the bottom and seal it off. Snip off an itty bitty corner and start decorating. I decided to do the zigzag pattern, but you can do whatever you want. I had some extra chocolate, so I decided to add more. Who doesn't like chocolate, am I right? And there you have it, coconut macaroons. These are gluten-free, low sugar, and they literally cost nothing to make. And they taste so much better than our pretentious overpriced sugar balls. Make these for your friends if you want to impress them. Stop getting them French macaroons. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs like. And if you like my channel, this actually tastes really bad. This is a coconut flavor. <laughs> guys, I'm not even joking. <laughs> This one. This one's pistachio flavored. Nah, nah, nah. It's not that bad. It's okay. This one is the maple pecan. No. No, this does not taste good. It smells good. But I like the texture for this one. I got. No, you know what? It's all the same shit. It tastes bad. Stop buying the crap. It tastes bad. <laughs>